because there is a very real possibility, and this is not hyperbole, that we may not see games played this weekend because of what's happening uh, with the lobby issue. So land lobbies are a concern right now, trying to get into the same lobby. That seems to be a concern on land. Also, the cross-play lobbies seem to be a concern. Console players and P or console and PC coming into the same lobby. Why is that a concern for this? Well, for the casters, for the coaches, for the ancillary people, and also for the broadcast. So we may not be able to watch these games. These games might not be able to be played. Now, I believe and I hope that this would be a big enough concern that it would be fixed by this weekend. Yeah. But Emily Rand, who's been doing a lot of great reporting with Call of Duty League, and has said this in previous videos, Infinity Ward does not care about esports. Hmm. So with that in mind, how much of a concern is this? Is it a very real possibility that we have all this hype and all of these influencers going to Hotlanta and we won't see a single game? I mean, look, if they got, uh, you know, rap stars coming in at the bit, they can just fill the time with esports concerts. Which we all know are the best things. Just in fly in DJ, DJ Khaled. Khaled. Go ahead, <laughs> t t Tyler. Seriously though, like, is this has to be a big enough issue for even Infinity Ward for whatever well, they believe about esports in their opinion? This has to be fixed by the weekend. Like, this cannot be an actual concern that we're talking about when we're on the ground. It, it's silly. If like we're like we're flying a crew out there. Like, for us, it's like we, we, we're flying a crew out there because this is a huge event. We want to see the Huntsman. We want to see FaZe. We want to see Optic LA. We want to see these storylines. And Call of Duty League has a lot of good momentum behind it. I have seen mostly good press, good viewership numbers, good engagement throughout the entire league. The fans seem to be enjoying the league. But if you have a weekend so hyped up with two of the best teams, two of the best, you know, players in the world, you know, destined to play each other, and then it can't be played because you can't connect to the lobby because a P there, when a PC and PlayStation 4 players are in the same lobby, everyone gets kicked out. That's You're a multi-billion dollar company. Yeah. Activision, Infinity Ward, you should be embarrassed that this is even a question. You should be embarrassed of yourselves. I don't care if you don't care about esports. You're a professional organization. Even if you don't care about esports, even if esports is the Z on your list of priorities, Get this done. It's an embarrassment. And if I was in the Atlanta phase right now, flying out these rap stars, flying out these influencers to Atlanta and throwing this event, which is going to cost millions and millions of dollars to put on, and it's up in the air because you can't connect to the freaking lobby, that's embarrassing, Infinity War. It's embarrassing, Activision Blizzard. It's a embarrassing that we are even discussing this. We should be discussing how great this weekend is going to be. We should be discussing simp versus scump. We should be, we should be diving into storylines of all of these teams who put so much work into the season, but we're discussing if they can even play the dang game. That's embarrassing, and you should be embarrassed, and everyone who's in the higher-ups of your company should be embarrassed that this is even an issue. That is some... Whew. And not only here, it's got hot let's, in here. Let's add to that though. <laughs> not spicy. only, not only will it be embarrassing to the Call of Duty community, mm -hmm. it will be embarrassing to esports. But also, if no games are played with that much investment, I can see the local news covering it. <laughs> oh, I yeah. can see this getting bigger than that. So this would be embarrassing for Infinity Ward and the developers in general. This would permeate past esports. If an event of this magnitude encounters those kind of problems and not a single game is played, which is a believable outcome right now as the game stands, as we talk about it here, that will absolutely look bad upon the developer it's, of this game. So hopefully just, it gets fixed, Tyler. I just want to look at this past weekend at Smash Summit. Smash Brothers Melee, which has been a game that's been self-supported, grassroots for years. Hungrybox, after he won, pre pretty much was begging Nintendo to care about his game. They put on a full production by themselves. They wish they had the support 
in the sales and everything of Call of Duty League. And then you have Activision Blizzard in Infinity War with all of this good karma given to them, all this good press, all this good buzz, and they can't even get their dang game straight. It's, I can't put into words. I, it, it's so frustrating when you see so many people putting in so much hard work across so many esports scenes and putting their lives into this. This isn't just a hobby. This isn't just, you know, a fun little game. People are putting their entire lives into this. This is their livelihood. Mm -hmm. P from not just the players, look at the production staff. Do you think an event just happens magically? That the lights get put on magically? That the, the, the stage are just put up there magically? No, people have to work long nights and long hours during those weekends to set up these events. And the higher ups from Infinity War who don't care about esports, I don't care about you. Just please give a sliver, <laughs> just a sliver of care about these players who are putting their lives and these production people who are working long hours to put on these events. Just fix your dang game, please. It's embarrassing, not just for the Call of Duty community that deserves so much more than what you're giving them, but esports as a whole. I do Please, think, I'm I, just begging you, stop embarrassing yourself. Mm. I do think it's a little bit archaic that, you know, earlier on we were talking about uh, Faker getting equity into T1, and then in Call of Duty we're like, are the lobbies going to work? Like, can we move on? Can we, like, we, grow we as an industry? We absolutely can to, move like, on. Well, we'll also move on in this show. By the way, we did mention gentlemen's agreements earlier. Emily Rand is working on a larger story, including coverage this weekend. So come to us here at ESPN Esports for all of your Call of Duty League coverage. Myself, Emily Rand, Thomas Tishio, behind the scenes. We will be on the ground in Atlanta covering what we hope will be a tournament played or Hopefully. covering a lack of a tournament played. Hmm? Whatever, it will be big news. We'll be there. No doubt, but we will be there. Shh. <laughs>